internationally respected leadership authority Stephen Covey said, personal leadership is the process of keeping your vision and values before you and aligning your life to be congruent with them. Imagine you want to set up an internet-based business. You aren't clear what sort of business. You don't even know if you want to sell products or to provide services. You do some keyword research to see what the buying public is looking for at the moment, and you come up with the following three options. 1. Canine care products. 2. Get rich quick schemes. 3. How to get along with your partner. One of your values is to support and encourage others wherever you can, whether you know them or not. Based on this core value, which of these three options would you choose to investigate further? It would obviously be to find ways to help people get along better with their partners. There's nothing wrong with getting rich or looking after dogs, but your core values will influence the way you think, react, and move towards certain choices. As you get clearer and clearer about your core values, both personal and business, you get clearer on who you are. The next logical step is to look at this person and decide if you are actually leading the life you want to lead. You may be very clear about what you want from work, but you may be uncertain or vague of what you want in your private life. Conversely, you may know exactly what you want out of a relationship, but just drift at work, aimlessly accepting whatever comes along. You may be a person who believes that you have a unique path to tread on this planet, but haven't quite found out that path yet. We are all different and we have different areas of focus for our lives, but how clear are we about any of these areas? Our life isn't just work and relationships, though. How would you divide your life up? Here is an idea. 1. Work. This can be paid work or unpaid activities that you consider work. 2. Relationship. Your most intimate relationship which may be with another person, or it could be with yourself. 3. Hobbies. The things you do simply for pleasure. 4. Creative. Anything that involves your creative self. For example, singing, painting, building walls, writing, designing houses, etc. 5. Family and friends. Your immediate social circle. 6. Social. Your wider social circle and activities. 7. Health. Your physical body. 8. Community. Your relationship with the wider world. 9. Spiritual. Your philosophy of life and any particular spiritual or religious practice.